Hey y'all, this is Farrell Dalrymple with the next bunch of daily drawings. I've been making these uh, compilations out of all the little time lapse and uh, finished pieces that I've been doing daily on my Instagram or somewhat daily. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty far behind right now. I, um, I think I'm about 20 behind actually. Yikes. But um, yeah, this is uh, the uh, 240 through 258 and we are kind of about halfway through all the tarot cards and because I got so behind I just started to do uh an inktober I'll get to that once I get to that though um this first one up is the eight of wands and um yeah pretty straightforward I just started to put my I mean I started doing this with the idea of having my characters in some of the tarot cards and um seems like you know it's been like half and half sometimes i'll put like this one has a few characters like robot todd petite investigator and b3000 in it um they're all from it wall hurt and I, I took the basic design of the rider white uh deck and just uh added my little guys to it and a little science fiction background there And this next one, it's kind of hard to see because my enormous head's in the way. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is the Three of Swords. <clears throat> and um, I really like the way this one turned out. Uh, I think I uh, was looking at some other decks besides the Rider Waite one. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but i just uh, going with my gut here. But um I I thought of the instead of it just being like a heart being stabbed, I I wanted to like anthropomorphize it. I don't know if that counts with it's like an object or if that only means referencing an animal, but uh you know, kind of made like a human figure in the middle of the heart and a lot of people mentioned that on Instagram were like, Well, he's that guy's having a rough day. <laughs> I think there was like three or four comments similar to that. It's pretty funny. It's like raining and he's been stabbed. Um, this next one is the Ace of Pentacles. And I kind of screwed up with this one. I uh, just found out today that I promised this one to two different people. And they both had paid for it. And uh, I had to renegotiate with one, with one person. Um, sorry about that. Um, that's kind of awkward. But honestly, uh, the reason I'm bringing it up, though, is I'm kind of surprised. It hasn't happened more <laughs> often. I've been doing this for a few years where I've been selling drawings over Instagram and my Patreon, and um, it's been very few mistakes, but that one was the, the first of these uh, daily drawings that I'm doing where I, I screwed up like that, but um, yeah, this next one, um, there's two that one Patreon, Patreon person, subscriber asked for, uh, I think they got a couple of tarot cards too, but then said, hey, I also like, you know, like a jack-o'-lantern man, and uh, Santa Claus, I guess, just thinking like, oh, I'll just, you know, do those in the, do those when the season rolls around, but I just went ahead and just did them both right here. Uh, this guy seems fitting seasonally, I guess, since it's October, but this guy, um, Santa Claus, you know, got a couple months, but this was kind of fun to do just, uh, you know, n not that I'm like super into holidays or anything. I, uh, I mean, it's cool if people are, I know people really like Christmas and Halloween, Specifically, um, my favorite holiday is Thanksgiving just because the eating aspect, even though they're, the colonization aspect is kind of, kind of a <laughs> just seems like all these holidays are just sort of corrupted by, or at least initially started off as like commercial enterprises rather than, um, I don't know, necessarily the spirit of the holidays. But I don't know, it just, it, it just seemed like a fun, oh, it was like a traditional character and I've never really drawn, maybe a couple times I've drawn like, for like Christmas cards or something, the little cartoony doodle, but, um, I was kind of uh, trying to channel like NC Wyeth here or something, um, who had some cool Santa Claus ones and I think it came out pretty well. It messed up in the face a little bit, but overall I'm pleased with it, the way that looks. Uh, this one is the nine of wands and this one I was really stoked about. Um, I mean, I, I like the way it came out, the finished, but, um, I first did the sketch. I was kind of surprised that I don't know, people weren't going, oh, that looks great, I want to get that one. <laughs> but I, I kind of, uh, I think sold it like last minute before I uh, inked it. And 
yeah, I don't know. I just, I thought this one was like one of the cooler ones that I've done so far. I'm not trying to toot my own horn too much, but, um, I don't know. It's just kind of like a nice day when I do one and like start to finish. I'm like, oh yeah, okay. That one, that one worked out. But, um, yeah, I put a little, uh, I don't know, a little breathing mask on the, on the character too. Just, uh, <laughs> kind of makes sense in the sort of Wrenchy's future. It will hurt future that I think like everyone would be having wear those. But I think in the book, I just pretty much made it like, oh, everyone just takes pills or is kind of like used to the radiation and fallout and toxicity of the planet at this point. Um, kind of like mutated or something. And also magic, you know, <laughs> it's the uh, benefit of having like a kind of more metaphysical bent on the apocalypse versus the, you know, more science fiction aspect, which um, seems like a lot of other authors and stuff try to get more into that. And this is the Ten of Wands, um, which uh, used a character from It Wall Hurt, um, Gideon. And uh, that one was pretty cool. I, I like the sketch, I think, a lot better than the finish on that. I feel like kind of overworked it a little bit, but um, I like the pose and the energy of that last one. And this one here, uh, I really like the initial drawing on this a lot. Like the finish is pretty good, but I just, um, oh yeah, too, I, I say this in every video, but just in case um, you're new to this or you just, you know, want to hear it again, um, this brush that I'm inking with, and I ink all the tarot ones with a brush and the the other ones I, I generally do with like a pen just because to, to break up the monotony of using the brush every day. Um, and it's a Raphael 8404, number four is the size. And it's one's losing its nib, this little point a little bit. I need to get a new, I just actually ordered a couple from Dick Blake, a couple new brushes, so. And a smaller one too, so because I, I notice when I when I watercolor, it kind of helps to have like a smaller brush for these little tiny paintings. But this one, uh, the background is my house. <laughs> I just was outside when I was sketching this, and I just drew that little you know little yellow house in the woods. And um, I don't live in the woods, but I mean I live pretty close to the woods. So um, and yeah, and I just kind of made this little uh, anthropomorphic deer uh, blacksmith character making these coins. Uh, so this one here is a three of cups and I used my characters, Emily and Gwen and, uh, Clementine from Popkin War, which Clementine actually hasn't appeared in Popkin War. It's actually Alamendra from It Will Hurt. It's like the same girl, but she just has different names for the different worlds. Uh, but she's been in stories with these two other girls, like Popkin War universe stories in a couple anthologies and like my book Delusional and The Often Wrong. So she kind of moves, she's like a magic person, sort of like Gwen too. Like Emily mostly just stays in the Popcorn War world. She's like a lot more grounded, but the other two characters are more, you know, spiritual woo-woo kind of types <laughs> that have like, you know, met, use magic and science stuff to, you know, do things. So this one here is the Ace of Cups. And I believe that last one and this one both are unclaimed. Um, I just, I, I got really far behind on everything recently and I just, I guess with all the stuff going on, I, I, you know, I'm susceptible to loneliness, isolation, depression, all that, that fun stuff. Um, kind of everyone's going through or most sane people are <laughs> experiencing a little bit right now. Um, but you know, I feel overall it's, it's kind of a good thing that we're going through these, these, uh, intense changes cause, uh, you know, hopefully this, it, you know, something positive will result a lot of, hopefully a lot of positivity will result from it is, is what I'm hoping for. I mean, the pessimistic side of me is, you know, maybe not <laughs> as, uh, optimistic about that. But anyway, uh, this one here, Ace of Cups, uh, I use the character Marcy from, uh, it will, uh, Proxima Centauri, excuse me. And uh, she appears a lot in the Wrenchies as well. She's actually the older version of Marcy who's in the Wrenchies. But um, she she's like Sherwood's imaginary friend, basically. Um, imaginary girlfriend. <laughs> uh, so it, it seemed fitting. I don't know why for Ace of Cups. It just seemed like, oh, that she seems like that would suit her. Um, no pun intended. So this one here is the... Four of Cups, and uh, this is another unclaimed one. I'm just going to, I'm, I'm doing this post real quick, and then I'm going to do a thing on my page, Patreon where I'm going to have all these lists, the ones that 
uh, are for sale still are available. I just, I got two behind, you know, I, I should have been doing these every week, but, um, I'm thinking I'm three weeks behind on this and over a month behind on posting on my Patreon, but it's going to change tonight. And this one, I, I really liked the initial drawing I did on it, uh, as well. And I'm happy with the finish too, but I just feel like I, I noodled around in this way too long. Like the inking took me forever. Um, I mean, not forever, but way past my 20 minute <laughs> limit and the coloring too. I think that took me the longest where I just, uh, I was doing the too much of the filling in the little, like treating it like a coloring book or something where I'm like, Oh, I got to fill in each little space. But with, with watercolor, it seems like it, the more effective way of working with watercolor I noticed is, um, doing washes, you know, trying to do like washes, but, um, and it takes a little while to dry and blah, blah, blah. So I just, uh, sometimes I fall into the habit of just like, oh, I want to color in this space. And, um, then I'm just like trying to get all the little white areas co colored and it's like, it would look better. I think like this one here, I, I kind of took more of like a wash approach to it, even though I'm just using ink here. I'm not even in this initial drawing. I'm not using any watercolor at all. Um, you'll see here that, uh, just cause that's, that was the finish. And then I added a little robot Todd to the right corner because initially I was going to do a Inktober, but then I, when I posted that first one, fish was the first prompt. Um, I just saw all the stuff on Twitter about Jake Parker, the guy who started Instagram, possibly doing some shady stuff. So I just, I went, I went on YouTube and kind of fell into a hole and watched a bunch of videos about it. Like from the guy who was claiming that he was plagiarizing his work and all this stuff. And, then I read Jake's response to it, and I read, watched some other videos about it <laughs> to get their takes on it. I, I just I have a hard time with the plagiarism thing, and I'm not accusing him of doing it or even wanting to get in a debate with anyone about it. But um, just from my own personal opinion, I was like, I don't really need to. I don't know. I I, mean, I don't think he was like necessarily being malicious or anything, but I just that's something I'm pretty like. Uh, I don't know, I couldn't really justify, like, oh, I want to participate in this <laughs> person's thing, you know, and uh, I just decided, just like, I'm just going to make up my own prompts, so I, I made a prompt list, uh, and they're all kind of themed around the uh, Robot Todd, which I was kind of wanting to do anyway, like, initially, so it kind of worked out, um, and, you know, I wish Jake Parker the best, and all these, everyone the best, and I hope that situation gets resolved, I just kind of wanted to sort of just do my own thing, and not really... Uh, yeah, like support, you know, he doesn't need, I mean, he's fine. They're fine. Everyone's fine. <laughs> anyway, uh, so this was the second, uh, the last one was, in, was the last tarot card I've done so far. I have a bunch more sketched, but, um, like I said, I just got, I got behind. I'm like 20 days behind or something on the daily drawings. Um, and this one, that one, there was the, uh, the prompt for that last one was spirits, uh, spirits. Spirit flight. That's it. And this one's mech suit. So I changed the first prompt to fish man because it was like, oh, there's a man riding a fish. And then I came up with this like long prompt list or, you know, a daily prompt list for the month of October, calling it Todd Tober. And uh, yeah, I have the list. Uh, I'm going to put it on my Patreon too, but I have the list on my in, on Instagram posts. Uh, this one's mech suit and just putting Robot Todd in a little mech suit and put a little black cat there to give it the October theme tie-in. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm trying to make these sort of like sort of spooky horror, but cute Robot Todd spooky horror kind of. Um, uh, yeah, and it's sort of like I don't have them planned out or anything other than just that prompt thing. So when the day comes, I you know, I still haven't done my one for today and it's already like eight o'clock at night or something. So I got to get on that right after I make this video and then I got to do a Patreon post, but yeah, so there's mech suit. And, um, this one here is, I think that my prompt was skeleton skate. <laughs> I was just kind of grasping at straws when I was coming up with this list, but, uh, yeah, this one here, I, I initially, I really like the, the ink job I'm doing on it here in the start and the, um, the, the initial drawing too. I, I was really, really happy with this, but the actual finish of it, I was a little disappointed in just, I don't know if it's like, I need a new scanner. And also too, I feel like I kind of messed up on her, her figure a little bit, like her, her hips look a little strange. I was trying to make it give her kind of like a baggy look. And then I added, I, I think 
when I was inking it, I kind of lost some of the the form there. But anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, overall, I'm happy with it. Like most of these, I, I don't feel like I've done any of these daily drawings that I've been like repulsed by. I would probably just have redone it if that were the case, but <laughs> just being like nitpicky here. Um, but yeah, this one's available too. Uh, this one has not gotten, I think the first one fish man was taken and then there was maybe one other one. Um, the last one I think is the very last one on this list has been claimed, but, um, this one here is, uh, I, I didn't realize until today, but I did three bird ones in a row. <laughs> so this one here is uh, Crow Song. And I just made like this, you know, kind of like Crow Man guy sort of singing or squawking into the back of Robot Todd's head. who has got these like earphones on and then like this music, the music notes sort of like a ghost image on the front of his head. And it kind of gave me an idea because I used to have like just the number 72 on his head. But in the Robot Todd series that I'm working on, um, I think I'm going to, uh, well, I don't want to, I'll just, I'll leave that for the, for some late, later thing. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I like that. I like that last one a lot. And this one too is pretty cool, even though they're all, it's like three in a row bird theme. Um, I tried to make, you know, draw something I, I thought thing would be fun to do. And I, I like owls and I put the little jack-o'-lantern thing on there and and here's the last one of this group. I think there was like 20 of them or something this time. This is the longest video I think I've made for these so far. Um, and this one here, I, uh, it's, I, what's the name of this one? Uh, tree bird. That's it. Tree bird, like free bird, but tree bird. <laughs> it's pretty stupid. But, um, yeah, I was, I, I went through a couple of different sketch ideas and then this is the one I just, I just like, oh, I'll just draw a kingfisher. So I, I kind of like a kingfisher. And Robot Todd, he kind of changes size, or maybe it's just enormous kingfisher, I don't know. But uh, they're kind of sitting in this, like, sort of floating tree stump thing. And, um, yeah, this one here, I, I'm really happy with the finish on this. Like, from the pencil stage, that guy was a little rough, but by the time I was, like, inking it and coloring it, and then, like, the actual finished job, I'm pretty happy with, so... This is the last one, like I said, 258. And if you want, uh, go check out my Patreon. It's uh, only $2 a month for the lowest tier, and you can reserve these daily drawings. I don't have a lot left for the, for the year. I mean, it's almost over. So hopefully I'll catch up this month. And um, Feral Dow is my Instagram where I'm posting these every day. Thanks for watching. Bye.